Hello everyone and once again welcome back to the Chem School. Now in the last class we spoke about oxidation number and today we are going to talk about something called as coordination number. Okay, sounds very similar but they are very different to each other. So let's talk about coordination number and the symbol that will be uh, that we will use for it is going to be capital C and N. Okay. And it is also called as legacy. So when you talk about CN or coordination number or legacy, all means the same. So let's talk in detail about this topic. Let's get started. So now before solving coordination number, let's understand what is coordination number. Okay. So coordination number or legacy is nothing but the number of coordinate bond formed. Okay. Between what? The number of coordinate bond between the central metal atom. Okay. And your secondary valence. Okay, that is the ligands. So the number of ligand, the number of coordinate bond between the ligands and the central metal atom is called as coordination number or it is called as ligancy. Okay, so the definition is clear. The next thing, then when you talk about coordination number, the, in general, it lies between 2 to 10. Okay, and amongst that, if you see most common one are the coordination number of 4 and 6. So many complexes you will find with a coordination number of 4 and 6 of the central metal atom. Okay, the next one. Now, when you talk about the lighter transition metals, we know that transition metal shows this complex formation the maximum. Okay, so the lighter transition metal will prefer the coordination number of four and six. Okay, so I have taken your example of six where I have taken of vanadium. It is forming six coordinate bond with fluorine. Similarly, Fe in CN6, it is forming six coordinate bond with the cyanides. Okay. While the heavier transition metals, they will prefer forming a coordination number of 8 or they will prefer forming a complex with coordination number 8 to be precise. So for that, I have taken an example of niobium. When you go from top to bottom in the periodic table, the bottom transition metals are going to be heavier. So if you see niobium and tantalum, they are showing coordination number of 8. Osmium will show coordination number of 8. Okay, so I hope now at least a brief discussion of coordination number is clear. Let's talk, let's draw some complexes and find the coordination number of that particular central metal atom. Let's get started. So I have taken five examples here and let's talk about the coordination number of each of them. Okay, so for coordination number, just focus on the central square, central area that is within the square area. Okay, so here if you check, this is your coordination sphere. So Fe is having Cn. Cn has a charge of minus 1. So if it has a charge of minus 1, it has only one pair of electron. So with one pair of electron, it can form only one coordinate bond. Yes or no? Each, okay so four water will four water molecules will form four coordinate bonds so four plus two six so the coordination number here is also going to be six okay the next one al is forming bond with oxalato now oxalato you have to remember that this is a bidentate ligand bidentate ligand means each ligand will form two coordinate bonds Okay, oxalato, each ligand will form two coordinate bomb. I hope you remember the structure. Okay, so the oxalato was C double bond O. Okay, C double bond O, O minus and O minus. So here, this is forming a coordinate bond. This is forming a coordinate bond. Okay, so two aluminum, if you can see, one oxalato is forming two coordinate bond. And how many oxalato do you have here? You have three of them okay so into two that is going to be six so again here the coordination number of aluminium in this is going to be six okay so remembering the type of ligand is very important in this case the next one no2 has a charge of minus one so it is a monodented ligand ammonia is also a monodented ligand so for monodented ligand the total number of you know the ligand will be your coordination number okay so this is 3 plus 3 that is 6 directly for monodented ligand you can say it is equal to 6 okay next en is a bidentate ligand bidentate means it will form two coordinate bonds so 2 into 3 that is going to be 6 again okay so the coordination number here is also going to be 6 so you can see that 
all the coordination number is six but some of them is with monodentate ligand and some of them is with bidentate ligand suppose you have edta so you have to recollect that okay edta is a hexadentate ligand so one edta can form six coordinate bond with one metal ion okay so the coordination number will be directly six so again remember higher the coordination number more will be the stability of the complex therefore when you talk about the stability of complex knowing the coordination number is going to be very important is that clear fine so have a look at this and try to recollect this concept slowly and solve on your own now let's talk about what influences the coordination number okay so coordination number is influenced by many factors and the important one is that is the charge on your central metal atom or the ion okay the next one is the charge on the ligand okay definitely the relative size of the ligand and the metal because that will decide the electronic cloud across the central metal atom okay so there should be balanced electronic forces of attraction and repulsion to hold that complex together the last one is the force of repulsion between the ligands okay and all of them together will decide your coordination number based on this if you see there are many metals that can exhibit you know multiple coordination numbers like iron can show oxidation number of, usually it shows six but can show an oxidation number of four which is less stable okay similarly when you talk about platinum can show an oxidation number of four uh, can show a coordination number of four but the stable one is again six okay cobalt usually shows six but can show a different oxidation or coordination number so remember that all of them together is important for deciding the coordination number so this was all for today's lecture see you soon in the next class thank you